So uh, this lady has a history of lung cancer who had immunotherapy, but we also did her in 2015 for a pancreatic mass, which was biopsy proven adenocarcinoma. And they're sending her back saying she's got a new mesenteric mass, but she didn't have surgery as far as I can tell. So to me, it seems this should just be the same mass she had in 2015. We've got the slim scope here. She's a small little lady. Uh, and she also said she, she's had some kind of surgery, gastric surgery as well. Just a look and see what's going on there. It wasn't done at our hospital, so I don't see. It looks like there's everything still here, though. That's her pylorus there, I think. So that looks like it's still there. So that's still there, and I'm in D2 here. Uh, there is a, there's some kind of anastomosis here, unless that's just the bulb. No, I think it's just the bulb, and her papilla is probably up there. Okay, so what do we see on the ultrasound? Just uh, going out of sequence here, but uh, here's her, um, whoops, falling out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, she has some kind of anastomosis up there, I think. Uh, or a diverticulum or some kind of an, I think it's just diverticulum, yeah. Okay, there, and so if I just stay long here, there is, there is a mass here, which is, is not new, because we already know she has pancreatic cancer. Uh, you can see the PD coming out here, I believe. That is an, no, no, sorry. The, the bile duct is coming out here. It's really an uncinate lesion, really deep in the mesentery here. Okay. But I, I kind of don't see the point in biopsying this since she already has a biopsy in 2015 showing that it's positive. Okay, and then... Uh, coming back into the stomach, here's the, here's the... I'm sort of in the bulb now, there's the portal vein. And then the bile duct should be coming down. There's her thin bile duct maybe. And then uh, there's her pancreatic duct. If I come back into the stomach, you'll see that her, she so apparently also has new liver lesions. So that would be worth biopsying. And I am looking at some liver. This looks like a hemangioma to me, maybe. But uh, uh, there, I, think, I think there is a large lesion here. So we might do that. Uh, just looking for anything else. Well, no, these are all suspicious lesions here. Yeah, those are really quite suspicious, these lesions here. I generally like to not go subcapsular. Uh, I think there's a little bit of a risk of bleeding. I don't think that's actually ever been proven, but I just kind of feel that. But uh, the ones I'm seeing here are pretty, oops, pretty uh, close to the capsule. But I think if I can get through some normal parenchyma before I go in, that will be okay. So I got the 25 Procore here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, there's a bit of a, some air in the balloon there. Okay, so let's try this one here, but try to go through some normal parenchyma to get to it. It's kind of... There we go. So I'll put the needle out. I can see the tip. So I'm in the right direction. With the liver, you don't want to be scraping up against the capsule. So once you see where you want to go, go. So I just went in. I'm in now. Back and forth. Okay, I'm going to try and come out of it a little bit and go somewhere else. There we go. So there's a bit of air artifact here. There we go. I'm going to come out again, try and move over with the elevator, go somewhere else. There we go. And you want to try and stay out of the normal liver because normal liver causes problems for the cytologist. Okay, one more place. There we go. Okay, so that should be enough. We'll see what this gives us. So I, I just put everything onto two slides with some air. That's it. I'm just going to do one of these. And I can tell this already looks good because it's white. Because when you do liver, normally it's full of blood, right? So it shouldn't be white. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be positive. So I'm air drying one and I'm spraying the other one as for our cytologist request. And then I'll do a cell block as well. So as I say, when you do liver FNA, if it's white, then it's 
almost definitely positive because as I say, normal liver is full of blood, so it should be red. And that sample was pretty white. There's the lesion again, zoom in a little bit. Okay, again, you want to kind of get in there, don't... Uh, Oh, uh, no, missed it a bit there, so I'm going to go again. A lot of respiratory. Yeah, now I'm in. There we go. Put some suction on. Back and forth. So just going back and forth. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm not getting up against the wall very well here. I don't know why I'm do not doing that very well. Anyway, because usually you want to be up against the wall. Our uh, cytologist just arrived. Okay, so this should be enough. Okay, so I'm just going to take this off and I'm going to push it out with the stylet, which always works. Okay, hold on. I don't think I've ever had a sample that you couldn't push out with the stylet. So there's a, a lot of stuff coming out, a lot of blood, because we use the suction. And then I just uh, like to uh, do one little push more with this. Okay, and that's it. Okay. So there's a pretty good amount of material here. A lot of it is bloody, but I, I'm pretty convinced that there's some, there's some tissue, uh, uh, tumor tissue uh, as well. Okay, so, so basically the FNA of the liver is positive for adenome. I'm assuming it's coming from the pancreas. It could be also recurrent lung, but her lung, apparently her lung, her mediastinum and everything, there's nothing new going on in the mediastinum. So I, it would make sense that just it's more of the pancreas uh, coming back. And that's it.